good morning students welcome back to our online classes so today we are going to start the new topic from your moments book as you all know that in earlier videos and in earlier class we have taken the chapter from our we have chap uh, book now today we are going to start from the chapter from our moments book and the topic of this chapter is the the lost child okay and it's uh, written by the author of this chapter is mulk raj anand it's a very interesting chapter as you all know uh, from the title also the lost child jo bachcha gum ho chuka hai the lost child okay okay let's start now it's about the story it's uh, about a story of a child who is lost in the fair okay now you can all see uh, you can see also in the screen also uh, screen also that this is the picture of fair can you imagine ki aap bhi agar chote ho na agar aap yahan pe gum ho jao to what was uh, what's your condition okay aapko kaisa feel hoga chota sa bachcha 4 or 5 years ka jo bachcha hai wo aise rush mein gum ho jata hai to usko kaisa feel hota hai so here the chapter starts with the spring time it was a spring time and the people in colorful attire attire means attire means their dressing okay their dress so here all the people were in the colorful attire were going to the fair they all were going to the fair as you all know in the village uh, they have only uh, fair is the only amusement thing for the a uh, villagers so they all are very excited and because they are going to the fair so there was a lots of uh, amusement there so all the people were very happy and they are uh, dressed up in a very colorful attire and going to the fair a child along with his parents okay a child along with his parents is also going to the fair and was very excited and happy a child uh, who's also going to, uh, to the fair with a his parents okay a very small child maybe 4 or 5 years so wo bhi apne parents ke sath mein wahan fair fair mein jata hai and at that moment he was very excited because there were lots of things there so he was very excited now uh, he was on the shoulder of his father wo apne father ke raste mein jab jata hai as you all know that the way bahut zyada long hota hai so wo apne father ke shoulder pe hai aur wo fair ke liye jata hai then he was very excited to go to the fair now when uh, he was going to the fair on the way to the fair he found many attractive many fascinating things there uh, in the in the mid of the way he found there was a lots of uh, uh, field there okay mustard fields there so he was distracted by the flowers of the फील्ड ओके तो वो थोड़ा सा डाइवर्ट हो जाता है एज वी ऑल नो डेट द छोटे बच्चे जो होते हैं वो थोड़े से डाइवर्ट हो जाते हैं हाँ हमें ये चीज़ अच्छी लगी सो ऑन द वे टू द फेयर ही वॉज डिस्ट्रैक्टेड बाय द फ्लावर्स ओके मस्टर्ड फ्लावर्स तो वो क्या करता है कि वहाँ से फील्ड uh, में चला जाता है वेयर ही अगेन हर मदर एंड फादर कॉल्ड हिम कि यहाँ आ जाओ बच्चे देन अगेन थोड़ा सा चलता है अगेन ही वॉज डिस्ट्रैक्टेड बाय द ड्रैगन फ्लाई उनसे डिस्ट्रैक्ट हो जाता है तो देर वर मैनी थिंग्स ही वॉज डिस्ट्रैक्टेड बाय मैनी थिंग्स तो वहाँ पर बार बार में डिस्ट्रैक्ट हो जाता है सुन वैन दे हिज पेरेंट्स वॉज टायर्ड सो दे टेक दे टुक द रेस्ट वो वहाँ पर रेस्ट करते हैं सो अगेन ही वॉज अट्रैक्टेड कि वहाँ पर जो बहुत जो बैनन ट्रीज होते हैं वहाँ अगर कुछ फ्लावर्स के ट्रीज भी होते हैं उनकी पैटल्स जब गिरती हैं एंड ही वॉज डिस्ट अगेन डिस्ट्रैक्टेड एंड ही वॉज बिजी इन द कलेक्टिंग द पैटल्स ऑफ द फ्लावर्स सो दिस दीज आर द थिंग्स डेट द वी कैन से डेट द स्मॉल चाइल्ड इज ईजिली डिस्ट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम द मैनी थिंग्स सो हेयर ऑन द वे ऑफ द फेयर ही वॉज गोइंग टू विथ पेरेंट्स टू द फेयर एंड द चाइल्ड वॉज फैसिनेटेड फैसिनेटेड मीन्स अट्रैक्टेड सो ही वॉज द फैसिनेटेड बाय द स्टॉल्स ऑफ द टॉयज ओके एंड स्वीट्स सो एज द एज द एंट्रेंस केम द एंट्रेंस ऑफ द फेयर केम सो ही फाउंड देर वॉज अ लॉर्ड्स ऑफ द स्टॉल्स ऑफ टॉयज एंड एज अ चाइल्ड ही वॉज अट्रैक्टेड बाय द टॉयज ही वॉज फैसिनेटेड बाय द टॉयज सो ही वॉन्टेड टू परचेज ऑल द टॉयज so and the sweets also though he asked his father make a very humble request ki papa i want this thing okay so he asked his father papa i want toy then his father says no that you are now you are not a, 
a small child you are young uh, you are older than a small child so this these things are not for you okay chote bachcho ke liye hoti hai to his father jo hai wo usko mana kar dete hain so thoda sa aage chalta hai on proceeding then he find another stall of sweets okay now there was a the, uh, the sweet seller was shouting for that that sweets jo hai barfi hai gulab jamun hai there were lots of the sweets there and barfi was a, his favorite sweet okay so his mouth watered at that time and he was again make a request to his father that i want the sweets again his father said no a tum bade ho chuke ho ye sweets chote bachche jo hain wo khate hain to every time his father say no 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 okay now those his father got angry every time he was making the request i want this i want this i want this so that time after though his father got angry but his mother pacified him okay we all know the mother is a mother always has a soft corner so usko thoda control karti hai and diverted his attention towards other things ki dekho beta wahan dekho wo kya hai because his father jab usko daatte hain and her mother console her and distract him you can see that there are many things no wahan se bahut sari cheeze pe wo distract ho jata hai now the child moved forward but once again lagged behind okay thoda sa bachcha aage chalta hai again he was lagged behind lagged behind means thoda sa peeche reh jata hai because he was busy in watching the other things and the stalls in the fair so because his eyes were were caught by one thing or the other every now and then okay why was he was lagged behind because he was busy in watching the stalls and the things that वर फैसिनेटेड हिम ओके बहुत सारी चीज़ें हैं जिसने उसको डिस्ट्रैक्ट किया था दैट्स वाई वो थोड़ा सा अपने पेरेंट्स से जो है पीछे रह जाता है बिकॉज वहाँ पर देर वर लॉट्स ऑफ थिंग देयर देर वर द स्नैक चार्मर ऑल्सो देयर देर वर द राउंड अबाउट्स ऑल्सो देयर फ्लूट जो है वो भी हैं तो ही वॉज अगेन एंड अगेन मेकिंग रिक्वेस्ट टू हिज फादर दैट आई वॉन्ट टू सी द स्नैक चार्मर okay i want to buy the balloons i want to buy the sweets i want to go in the roundabout every time he was making request and every time his father say no okay he always denied his request now as they move forward the child got damaged by the decorative items on the stalls okay again we can see jaise wo aage chalta he was again fascinated by the many decorative items in the stall his mouth watered seeing sweets decorated with gold and silver lace as we know that barfi was his favorite sweet so it was decorated with the gold and silver lace so he was uh, distracted by the decoration of barfi so he make a request i want barfi but he did not wait for his parents reply as he as he very well that his parents will never agree to buy barfi for him now जैसे जैसे वो रिक्वेस्ट करता है उसको पता चल जाता है कि मेरे पेरेंट्स जो हैं मेरी हर रिक्वेस्ट को मना कर देंगे सो आफ्टर मेकिंग द रिक्वेस्ट फॉर द बर्फी बट ही ऑलरेडी न्यू डैट कि वो उसको मना कर देंगे सो विदाउट वेटिंग फॉर द रिप्लाई फ्रॉम हिज पेरेंट्स ही मूवड ऑन ओके वो वहाँ से आगे बढ़ जाता है दे वुड से ही वॉज ग्रीडी दे फोर ही कैप्ट मूविंग एंड ही ऑलरेडी न्यू डैट कि उसके फादर उसको क्या बोलेंगे डैट यू आर वेरी ग्रीडी सो देर फोर ही कैप्ट moving on so this is enough for today and this chapter is very interesting and we will continue this chapter in our next video and it's a very interesting chapter the lost child okay thank you everyone have a good day